There we go. What's up, everybody? We're gearing up to do some fishing here again in North Dakota. It's gonna be nice again tomorrow. We're gonna get ready tonight here. We've had consistent weather, mid to upper 30s, so it's nice and warm. It's getting the fish active. They're biting good right now. Walleyes, perch, everything's biting good. We're also gearing up for the sports show at the Bismarck Civic Center this weekend. So we're gonna be there with Dvorak Motorsports in Bismarck, and we'll have our ATV there with the tracks. So hopefully we'll see some of you guys there. This video will be posted after that whole event, but hopefully we'll get to meet some of you guys. Dvorak Motorsports also has some sweet handouts that we're gonna be giving out some flyers to advertise our program, we have a nice QR code in the link to all our social medias. So hopefully we can help grow our business a little bit. Oh, that's not me. We obviously didn't do that good fishing this morning. The fish in our area just weren't there, but we didn't have a whole lot of time anyways because we got to take our ATV to the Bismarck Sports Show here at the Civic Center. So we got back to town about 11 o'clock and we're going to do that right now. Following my dad with the trailer in front of me here. We're gonna go drop that off and take a quick little look around at everybody setting up and we'll be back out there tomorrow. Here's the new ice house Jaden's gonna buy me. Oh my gosh. Thanks, Jaden. It's a cart. Okay, we just got back from the sports show, got our four wheeler out of there, packed up. It was an awesome event, had all kinds of vendors. We talked to a ton of people. One part that I really liked about the sports show, my favorite part actually was the seminars we were able to attend where we were able to listen to professional fishermen and learn and grow from the experiences they learned and they were taught. And me and my brother actually got to meet and talk to J Jason Mitchell for a little bit. So that was really cool. We got some advice from him on how to grow our channel. And so, yeah, and now we're gonna get ready to go fishing again after a long, long three days. So we're gonna pack up, we're gonna get ready, go out fishing in the morning, catch some fish, and yeah. Well, we got set up. Nice little private bay here. Not hoping for much other than pike, but Jaden says you got a mark here. Oh for one. Oh and one. I already took the first L. Well, I think they found our secret fishing spot.
Chen. I just had a big school walleye come through. Awesome, let's go. I would have caught two of them. They were going to bite both my lines. Don't do that. Just it's running big time. It's going to be a pike. Oh yeah. Big one. Pull it in your line and it'll tangle. I swore my bed. He, he swallowed that hook, whatever you had on there. What was it, minnow or schmelt? Schmelt. Nice, baby. Alright, so it's a little after 5 o'clock here, so we're getting to prime time. This is what I'm using on one rod. It is a PK Lures Ridge Rattler. I added a little blade on the back end there. Basically using this to just attract fish, jigging it aggressively. And actually in that last video, as you saw, I was gonna have a while I hit it, but one hit my PK Lure I have on this one, just a small Predator, Tiger, Tiger Glow, whatever you call the, the green and orange one. And it hit that, and it's actually scared the walleye off my ridge rattler there. So I almost doubled up. If they would have hit at the same time, I would have had two, but probably would have ended up losing them both anyway. So good thing we got the one. Jaden got a pike. Waiting for some more flags to go up or some more action, more fish to come through. Well, as you can see, it's just about sundown, and we're trying, but just not catching as many fish as we would like here. Not really much happening here, but it's kind of what happens when it starts to get warm out and you get slushy conditions and we didn't really get to the lakes we wanted to hit this week due to bad ice conditions or reports of bad ice. So hopefully we'll be able to get back out next weekend. Spring is coming. Let's go. Hey guys, Austin Roller here with Dvorak Motorsports in Bismarck, your premier Articat and now CF Moto dealer for the state of North Dakota. Come check out the incredible lineup of C-Force ATVs like this C-Force 600 Touring.